like y'all fix and do a little maintenance on my 97 f-150 uh still oil change and uh i don't know let me see i've got 260,000 280 miles on 260 280 says 260 900 when it'd be changed so uh i'm going to get it changed um it's probably been close to a year since i last changed it and uh let's see get that sticker there's though but i just thought i'll bring y'all on day show you what i was uh doing there i've been doing a lot of different odd stuff today had a uh flat tire on my Dodge pickup I had to uh, fix and then I had a, a tire leaking down on my lawnmower so I, I fixed that tire on the lawnmower and uh, I just thought I'd bring y'all along show you a little bit on this oil change and talk to you there a little bit I don't do this type of videos too much just because uh, most of the time I'm doing something I like getting it done but I figure, you know what? I'm gonna get this camera out today. I'm gonna bring y'all along, show you a little bit of what I'm doing there. Right now, I'm just backing my truck up. I'm gonna back it into the shop there. But camera get too close, y'all. I might have a camera up in my face. <laughs> y'all do your own maintenance just leave a comment down below or if you ever done your maintenance if you don't do it no more if there's any reason why you used to do it and say if you stop doing it is the reason why you stopped doing it i know there's a lot of different reasons uh why people do things um it could be uh inconvenient for you maybe maybe you don't have time maybe it's not worth the uh, saving the extra money Y'all just let me know there. I'm just kind of curious, you know, who uh, who does their own maintenance and stuff still. Um, I've, I've been doing my own maintenance, I guess, ever since I, well, when I was a teenager, I, I used to help, you know, do maintenance on my mom and dad's vehicles. And, uh, that going there, there you go. And uh, so I've been doing my own maintenance for, 48 years old, so I've been doing it since I was probably about 15, 14, 15 years old. And, um, anything I can do myself, y'all, I'll try to do it myself. I just the way uh, I am. Uh, I know I had people before tell me, you know, you could pay somebody to do something, be a lot easier on yourself. And I say, yeah, you know, I guess I could. But you know, if you added up all the money all the years that I've kind of worked on my own stuff and did my own um, maintenance and my own repair work, uh ain't ain't no time me thousands and thousands of dollars i, I say uh and uh, that, that's why i look at it y'all if you can do it for yourself you know uh you know there's plenty of youtube videos out there you know to show you or if you may have a friend or neighbor and help you out there but uh let me go ahead and get out of here and y'all would just leave me a comment down below and let me know if you do your own maintenance and whatever and if you got any opinion about that kind of stuff because like i say oil changes and, and maintenance is very easy it's not hard at all it don't take long and uh like i say you can probably save 15 20 bucks and that might not mean much to you you know it might be more trouble than what it's worth but to me it gives me peace of mind i know it's been done right uh i know i'm not gonna never have an issue if i'm doing it myself take it to a, you know a place you know or change place you know you could have some issues y'all y'all know that you probably not experienced that if you uh, take them to fast loop places over the years but uh, anyway, let me get out here and let me get this uh, oil drain out. Y'all can here. see that my oil is uh, still on the max. It's uh, full, and the oil doesn't look bad. I always check it, y'all, in case the uh, my engine's been using any kind of oil. It lets me know. But um, this truck does not use oil. It never has. I've got, like, say, two hundred six thousand miles on it, and this truck has never used any oil. So you know, I can't complain about that, y'all. All right, 
scratch on the oil drain here. I'm going to take this drain plug out. This particular one's just 15 millimeter. I always y'all when that oil comes out, I'm always looking for antifreeze. If you got a head gasket, um, well mainly like an intake gasket, something like that. Um, you know, if you got antifreeze in your uh, oil, it's gonna be at the very bottom, it's gonna come out first. So I'm always looking at that, make sure everything looks good on that. Then I like to, uh, I take my finger and I like putting in the oil and just feeling of it, looking at it, and make sure, you know, and also take a little smell, just make sure there ain't no gas or anything mixing with it, and uh, everything looks good on this, so fix and get ready, let that drain, and go ahead and get this uh, oil filter off. All right, get this oil filter off. Last filter I put on is a frown filter, and I particularly don't like putting those on there. But I know I don't put that many miles on it, so uh, that's all they had. The motor crafts what I normally use, and they didn't have any stock. So today we'll be putting a motor craft uh, oil filter back on there. That's that's my go-to filter for this truck. So. Filter off of there. It's black. It says black O ring right there. Make sure your O ring comes off where your O filter is not stuck to your making surface. Otherwise, you'll double gasket. We put this new filter on, and you're going to have an oil leak. And always make sure you put you some oil on that uh, O ring right there. Make sure that gasket, make sure uh, that uh, it goes on easy and doesn't seize up. Gets a good seal, y'all. I just tighten mine up to about three quarters to one turn, and that's always good enough. Okay, I want to show y'all my uh, windshield wash fluid I put in for the winter time. It's a de-icer. It's a negative 25 degree protection, and uh, you can see already I've got some in it from last year. I just don't you know use this truck just a whole lot, but uh, knowing winter's coming on, I'll go ahead. And Put this in it and it'll be good to go and uh that's just another thing you know if you're using that blue it's good down to i think maybe zero degree but uh you know i know a lot of places down here in the south it'd probably be all right to put the blue in it but i'll just go ahead just in case because i don't want my windshield washer reservoir there to bust but uh it's just some little simple things like that y'all you know you can do yourself and uh it doesn't you know cost a lot of money to do it yourself and uh, once you do it, you'll feel good about doing your own work and you'll probably start doing it on a lot of your vehicles. Now, I know a lot of you may not have a place you can do this in. Before I had my shop here, I'd get out of my yard, I'd get me a blanket, a piece of cardboard, and I'd lay on the ground, y'all. And uh, i just do all my maintenance work, my mechanic work. Man, I'd tear stuff all apart out there on the yard and fix my stuff before I got my shop. So y'all, hey, just taking little baby steps. You don't have to have the best tools, a shop, all that you can do it you know uh in a parking lot somewhere you know find somebody don't mind you know working on your stuff you know parking lot whatever you know or you just do it right there in your yard there and uh, y'all just uh take 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 time and uh try something if you've never done something for yourself like that you know you, you might you may like doing it you know you might be like man i enjoy doing my own maintenance on my vehicles and stuff but uh y'all can do it y'all believe it you know all right y'all i imagine some of you Probably curious what kind of oil I'm putting in my truck. This is just going to be the Super Tech um, all mile motor oil. It's 5,000 mile conventional oil. You know, just a regular, you know, conventional oil. Uh, what I normally put in it, if I can get it, is the Penn's oil. And uh, this truck costs 5W30. And ever since I've got this truck brand new, I, I put nothing but 10W30 in it. And uh, it's done fine all these years. So I'll continue to put the uh, 10W30 in. And uh, would I rather have the uh, P 
Depends on put in it. Yeah, I would. But, uh, you know, I don't feel it's going to be just a big difference, you know, using this. I've never had no issue using this, but uh, if Walmart is out of the uh, Pennzoil, this is uh, what I put in it. So I just want to show y'all that. And another thing y'all want to mention, you know, doing your own maintenance, you know, you know, like today, for instance, I did, I did, let me see, two flat repairs and this oil change. Now, if I took this to town to have a lawnmower tire repaired and a tire on my truck repaired and this oil change, I'd be out over a hundred dollars and doing this, you know, myself today, plus over our, my time going up there and back would be, uh, you know, probably who knows, two to three hours of time, depending on how long it took, you know, but it'd take, uh, you know, 30 minutes one way going to town. So, uh, you know, what, what, what is your time worth to you? You know, what, you know, it's hard to put a value, I guess, sometimes on time, you know, um, uh, that's something I was thinking about today. You know, what are you worth? Um, and I'm not necessarily meaning in a monetary value, you know, it could be, uh, other things it could be what you worth to your friends family your neighbors you know you know i know it sounds strange you know a lot of times we don't think about that kind of stuff but uh everything's not about money always even though we're all talking about you know saving money you know doing your own maintenance and stuff but it could just be you know peace of mind that you know or maybe a feeling of self-accomplishment doing this work yourself is very easy anybody can do it but, you know, by all means, y'all, hey, if you got a good mechanic or a good shop that takes care of all your maintenance and you're happy with them, make sure you give them all your business. Now, I'm not being, be like, oh, you shouldn't give nobody your business. I'm not saying that, but, you know, there's a lot of good shops and stuff out there that I, I know appreciate your support and stuff. And if you got one of them shops, you know, by all means, use them because, uh, like I say, I know they'd appreciate your business and everything. But I'm just saying, you know, uh, in general, you know, a lot of stuff we could do ourselves. You know, just, uh, you know, sometimes it takes the determination to get out there and try and do it, you know. And it's not hard, y'all. It don't take long at all. I got up on the grease, these alamites and stuff. You know, I got, I think, seven different ones on here that I greased. And I got some U-joints that uh, when I put up in air, I'll get those. But uh, that'd be another day. But, uh, you know, uh Anything you can do yourself, y'all, save yourself some money, you know, do it yourself, you know. Like I say, you might start out small, say something simple as a oil change and work into doing your own brakes and turn in doing your own brakes. Might be doing some, doing some front end parts on your vehicle as it needs it. Another thing, when you do your own maintenance and service, y'all, you're looking at everything else. Say like, I'll look at my belts, make sure my belt is still good on my vehicle. You know, I'll top every, all my fluids off, check my fluids. Um, so it's an opportunity like antifreeze here. I'll check my antifreeze and also, uh, winter coming on for long, I'll check the strength. I used to change my antifreeze y'all every uh, year and drain out my radiator and put new cooling in. I don't do that no more. It's just wasteful. Uh, it might be five years or so before I even take this antifreeze out and put a new antifreeze in. It really depends on how it breaks down over time. That's what I go by, you know, uh, how it looks, if it's uh, dirty or anything which my, my antifreeze has never been dirty in any of my vehicles. Uh, but usually you have dirty antifreeze when you start adding a lot of water. If you got a leak and put a lot of water in it, rust and corrosion gets in your system. That's where the uh, corrosion rust comes from is, is when you start using uh, the water instead of your antifreeze. But uh, anyway, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Uh, this video was not about you know how to do an oil change necessarily it's just based on what i was doing here talking about a little bit about you know uh saving a little money doing a little maintenance on your own vehicles and uh hope you enjoyed the video just bring y'all along there for the uh main preventive maintenance on my truck here and uh like i said i didn't show y'all the the flat repairs and stuff like that i do have a video on that if y'all want to see that but uh uh, as always, friends, my family and yours, y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. All right, I'm going to crank it up and uh, going to look for that oil pressure hand to come up. 
I want to be sure don't have no oil light that comes on and stays on. Like I say, the oil light will come on and then go off. And now you want to get out and make sure you don't have no kind of oil leaks. Get out and look underneath your vehicle and let it run for maybe 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Kill your motor, let your oil drain down, and just recheck your oil and make sure you, you know, get plenty of oil on your dipstick. And that's it, y'all.